Well, hello and welcome, students of South Harmon. Please take a seat and get ready for today's lesson. I'm doing something a little bit different today. We're talking about attending some live drafts. But before I dive in, make sure you're subscribed to the South Harmon Fantasy Football YouTube channel. Get ready to absolutely destroy this like button on this video as well. Let's get that algorithm up. Let's get those numbers up. And if you're not subscribed, of course, to the South Harmon Fantasy Football YouTube channel, take a second and fix that damn mistake. Today, students, Professor Kiwum's talking about the do's and don'ts whenever you're attending a live fantasy football draft. It doesn't matter if we're talking about home leagues, industry leagues, competitive leagues. We're talking about all live drafts. Professor Kiwum has got you covered. We're going to take you from the buffoon or the hooligan or the Debbie Downer that you've been, and we're going to make sure that you got the right do's, the right don'ts, and you are the ideal league mate and a great bud when you're getting ready to have, you know, one of the best days of the summer, which is the Fantasy Football Live Draft. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave them in the comments section and we will get right to those. Students of South Harmon, class has begun. Yeah. Okay, so today I have some do's and don'ts. Ten to be exact. So let's start with the do. Show up on time. The live draft date has probably been set for months or potentially years. My home league, we uh, get together every Sunday before Labor Day. So my league mates know the draft day ten years from now. It's the Sunday before Labor Day. It's been that way now for almost 15 years. Make plans accordingly. Make sure that the day rolls right into the start time because, you know, we're not all lucky. We don't all have the the whole day to frolic about with the friends and in draft fantasy football teams. Some guys got to get back at a certain time. They may have responsibilities or what have you. When you start late, you drag the vibes down. And it just, that's what, what you want to do on, on your live draft. You want the, the vibes to be high. You want to get high? all day long so make sure you show up on time you do right by the league so that everyone can get going at the right time and sometimes what more importantly get end at the right time so guys can get back to their families work whatever just don't be the person that shows up late show up on time the first don't whenever attending a live draft don't bombard your commissioner. Can't do it. Okay, make sure if you have any suggestions for rule changes. This is not NOM, there are rules. Your league votes on those types of things. Have the conversation with the commissioner prior to draft day. Draft day can be a bit hectic, you know, whether it be a home league or an industry league. There's someone that is responsible that, you know, for the, the, the smoothness of the day. Someone has shouldered the responsibility to make sure the day goes off without incident. Walking right up to your commission, like, hey, we need to do this. What are you going to do this? Keep the guy. It just can get so much it can cause the commission to wig up. I shoot all you motherfuckers. How'd that sound? So don't bombard the commissioner. Make sure you've pre-planned the conversation. You've had the conversation prior to the draft day so that the rollout goes as smoothly as it needs to. You don't want to go and get, again, the vibes to get low. You want them to make sure that they're always positive and bombarding your commissioner. You don't want to be that guy. Don't be that girl. Don't be the person that bombards the commissioner right when they walk in. The next do, whenever attending fantasy football live drafts, bring that energy. Now, I'm talking about the old timers out there. I'm an old man. I hate everything but Matlock. I am 36. Me and my buddies were all approaching 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. The energy isn't quite there like it used to be, so you got to make sure you bring that energy. 
People might be tired, dealing with their families all week, having a lot of work, maybe they traveled that week. There's a lot happening over the summer when you get older. Hey, everybody, an old man's talking. But bring the energy. Vibes stay high. Chatter can, can continue. Because, you know, when we're all looking at our phones, looking at our laptops, scratching off who's gotten picked on our papers, our cheat sheets, get the shit sheet. People can get in their own heads. People want to think things through. Get the vibes high, get the energy high, and the draft will be a great experience from beginning to end. So make sure you bring that energy on draft day. The next don't, whenever attending fantasy football live drafts, don't make comments every single pick. And that goes for all of you uh, great pick people. Don't, don't yell great pick after everyone. And don't be like, oh, terrible pick, boss, but don't be that person, okay? Every single pick. There's a lot of picks that happen on draft day. Don't be the one that has a comment for every single one. Be selective. They'll land better. They'll be funnier. You'll get the, the, the reaction that you're looking for. Don't be the guy that's glazing every pick, and don't be the one that's hating on every pick. Stay in the zone. Be selective. Even if you want to prepare a couple dad jokes that you have up your sleeve when a certain player gets drafted or what have you, be prepared. That's fine. I like that. But don't be the person making a comment after every damn pick. There's too many picks for a comment to be coming from your mouth every single time. Correcto mundo. Bring your own beverages. Okay, I've been to a lot of fantasy live drafts. And sometimes you need to be the captain of your own ship when it comes to drinking. Doesn't have to be alcohol, could be anything. But if you bring your own beverage, you're setting the tone for your drafts. I've had plenty of drafts. I've I've had drafts where I show up with beer and it's just a light drinking day. I've had drafts where I show up with some bourbon. I'm having some bourbon on the rocks. A real, a real classy draft. And of course, I've had the drafts like last year's home league where I was in the pool <laughs> ripping shots of tequila having a blast. This is the bad place. But I was the captain of the ship. I brought, I steered myself in the correct direction by bringing my own drinks, my own booze. Now, again, if you don't want to drink, that's cool, but bring some Cokes. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Bring some Diet Cokes. Bring juice boxes. If people know you're not drinking, they see that you've brought your own supply, they'll they'll back off a little bit. Or, you know, if, you, if you're in a crazy league where there's a lot of shots that are happening, bring beer. People know, okay, he's not trying to get too crazy today. Maybe I shouldn't bug him for shots every five minutes. Or if you want to take shots and no one else wants to kind of have a low-key day, well, then you bring your own booze and rip shots. It's your day too. Seriously, you are an alcoholic. It's a great day. Fantasy drafts are made to be fun, but if you bring your own beverages, well, you set the tone for how your day will go. Don't be the doofus that continues to pick players that have already been selected. This is for the crowd that goes old school, that goes cheat sheets, that cross them out and you, and you do a manual draft or stickers on the board. Of course, this isn't the case if you're doing it digitally on your laptops or sleeper or ESPN on an app. But if you are doing those old school drafts, don't be the goofball that continues to pick players that have already been selected. Okay, it's funny at first, but after the second, the third, you're just being that guy. Don't be that guy. And this is also a second, this is a secondary don't. Don't not be the person asking, is so-and-so available? Every single pick. Hey, Matt, you're up. Oh, is Aaron Jones still on the board? No, nope, he was picked three rounds ago. You're not discovering a discrepancy in the draft. Okay, you're looking at your paper and you're seeing a whole bunch of scratches on it. Seeing a bunch of people off the board. You look up, you see DK Metcalf. Well, he should have been picked four rounds ago. Oh, oh, oh I've discovered something, everybody. Uh, DK's still available. I'm about to get him. Let's go. Is DK still available? No, goofus. This is the worst. He was picked four rounds ago. You didn't rediscover DK Metcalf. He didn't fall four rounds. Okay, don't be the person continuously asking who's available, and don't be the person continuously picking the players that have already been selected. Make sure to bring your own material or technology. Do not rely upon your commish or anyone else to give you the cheat sheets, the shit sheet, or pens or pencils. Bring your own stuff, okay? Don't stress anyone else out. People aren't, this isn't school, can I borrow a pencil? No. Don't do any of that stuff. Bring your own laptop, bring your iPad, bring your folders, bring your material, bring your printed out warp papers. Shout out, Coop. Bring your own material, bring your own technologies. Do not rely on anybody else because you are your own man. You are your own woman. You are your own person. You are trying to dominate this draft. 
Do not bog anyone else down. Bring your own shit. This next one is a very big don't, but it's actually for a niche crowd here listening. This isn't for everyone, but don't. And this is coming from experience. Do not get too stoned at your fantasy draft. You don't want to be looking at your paper deciding between Najee Harris or a receiver. You don't want to be looking at, oh, should I go Anthony Richardson early? Is it too early for quarterback? And then all of a sudden, some other thoughts start creeping in your head. What am I even doing on this planet? Or did I, did, did I really get all that I could have out of college 10 years ago? Or, oh man, I forgot to get that gift from my significant other. Their birthday's coming up. You don't want those intrusive thoughts. And when you get a little too stoned, the thoughts that can get a little rapid, you can get a little anxious, and all of a sudden throw your whole draft out of whack. Done it before. It ain't fun. Also edibles. Okay. Little side story at the, the expo. We didn't read the labels of the of the edibles. Turns out a few of us got a little bit too high in the clouds. We were trying to fly at a certain level. We went a little too high left the stratosphere. Okay. So don't eat too much edibles. Don't get too stoned. Read the label at all costs and make sure you can stay in that sweet spot because you don't want to let the machine start running away when you're trying to make these valuable picks in the mid to late rounds. The last do, the most important do whenever attending live fantasy football drafts, have the most fun, okay? Seems simple, seems obvious, but we get competitive when we're with our, with our friends and we're trying to draft the best team. Sometimes your draft doesn't always go the way you want it. You had a certain plan, it doesn't go that way. You didn't get the player that you, you really, really wanted, whatever. At the end of the day, fantasy football is meant to be fun. And as you get older, you realize that this day becomes more and more sacred because you just don't hang out with your friends as much as you can throughout the regular season or regular season throughout life. OK, your family, job, responsibilities. You can't always get with your friends and, and kick back and have a few and share some laughs like you used to. So remember, fantasy drafts are meant to be fun. And if they're industry leagues, meet people, have fun. Don't always sweat the, the actual game itself. Don't sweat the draft. Don't get too down on yourself. Don't get pissed about a certain pick. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, fantasy football is meant to be fun. It's meant to be a, a way that you can kind of escape some of the, the stresses of real life and, and have fun with your friends or have fun with colleagues or meet people for the first time. It doesn't matter. Whenever you're at a fantasy football live draft, Please, don't just have fun, have the most fun possible. And the last don't that I'm going to bring up here in today's lesson, do not go MIA. Don't be the guy who's missing in action. Nothing will slow the vibes down more. Nothing will bring the draft to a screeching halt. Like being, where, where, where did he go? Where, where's, where is she? Where, where, what's going on? Where is this person? They're supposed to be up, especially again, if, you, if you're not doing it via app, you're doing it uh, with stickers on a board or, 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 or cheat sheet, however you guys do it. it. Don't be the person where you look for, what? Again? Where are, come on, I'm, let's go. Again, don't be the person derailing vibes. Don't go MIA. Stay in the designated draft area, unless of course, if you're on an app and you can wander all about, you can do whatever you want. But if you're, if they're relying on you to be there for the draft to go smoothly, please, Never be the person going MIA. All right, those are the 10 do's and don'ts whenever attending live fantasy football drafts. I'm your Professor Matty Kiwoom. Thank you so much for attending today's lesson. Make sure you're subscribed to the South Harmon Fantasy Football YouTube channel. Absolutely demolish that like button and go ahead and leave a comment down below. Students of South Harmon, you're dismissed. Have fun in your fantasy drafts.